Hey guys, welcome back to Torno 1500. Today, I'm gonna to be upgrading my Mac Mini to 20 gigabytes of RAM, or at least trying to. So this Mac Mini has a six core Intel Core i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. The only upgrade I was planning on doing was upgrading it with a SSD. I mean, I can't upgrade it internally because it's already 500 gigs and it's soldered, but I was thinking of adding an external drive so I can run Windows off of this and game a little bit on it. But then I saw this for cheap at Canada Computers and I decided, you know what, I might as well try to upgrade the RAM. So that's exactly what I'm here to do. If this ends up working, I might just go pick up another one of these sticks, throw it in there and have 32 gigabytes of RAM, but I only bought one. So I'm gonna upgrade it to 20 gigabytes of RAM using a four gig DIMM that's already in there. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing here. Come on. Come on, little medical scissors, you could do it. Come on, come on. You got this, you got this. Woohoo, it's open. Come on. All right, now for the RAM. I'm gonna be careful with this packaging because I actually might need it if I want to return this. Uh, come on. All right, a little pop out of there. And we got the 16 gigabyte random. Let's go put that there. All right, so I it's it took me a good five minutes to figure this out, uh, but you just have to slide the bottom of this that way, and then it comes off, and then you've just unlocked your NVMe SSD adapter. Uh, just me, let me uh, figure this out real quick. It comes with two of these little SSD mounty thingies. Uh, it, it just in case you lose the first one. Okay, okay. I'm, give me a second to figure this one out. All right, I figured it out. It's pretty quick to figure it out. Uh, and then I just put this. I just put this heating pad that it came with right here and then put this on on it and then I should be fine. But first I actually want to test this to see if it actually works and to see if it uh, gets the speeds that I'm hoping. Okay, so it did it a second time. This is much better, this is much better. And this is on fucking fire. I need to eject this right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put the, the heat sink on it, the heat spreader. Um, no, not erase. Uh, eject. Eject. Plug this thing out right now. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna use this, this little heat spreader it comes with. Put it over the SSD. Just like that. Perfectly sized. And I'm gonna take the top layer off. If I can find an edge to do that with. Uh, come on, come on. All right, let me just do this off camera. All right, so I think I got it on properly. It's, as you can see, the heat spreader's on there. And I can put this back on. Now I'm gonna do another speed test with this off and just with the heat spreader, I'm gonna see if that makes it any better. Okay, and just a warning, this is not a tutorial. This is just me screwing around. Anyways, uh, I'm supposed to pick it up like this, the antenna cover. There we, there we go. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. I know it gets harder, but like, come on. And there we go, that's our antenna cover. And it looks like I might need to clean this out a little. Uh, but yeah, all I need to do is take off this antenna plate. And if you're following along at home, as you shouldn't be, because this is not a tutorial, uh, just make sure you, when you take this out, do not, damage the antenna, antenna cable. My friend did this on his M1 Mac Mini. Did that on his M1 Mac Mini and uh, he needed to buy a whole new antenna for it. Oh, and of course Apple has to use those stupid fucking uh, security bits with the little uh, thing in the middle, preventing you from using basically any other screwdriver, except one that specifically has a hole in the middle of it. 
let me just plug in this drive and uh, I'm gonna plug it into, I'm gonna plug my iPhone in there because I'm charging my iPhone while I'm filming and plug my SSD in there. And I'm gonna put it on this side right here uh, just because I want to, uh, just because I want to uh, have it still be sleek. Security settings do not allow this Mac to use an external startup disk. You can change this by restarting and holding down Command R to open macOS recovery and then choosing startup service, startup security utility. Setup does not support configuration of installation of disks and I... Oh, what the fuck? All right, so I got the main drive uh, with Windows inside the machine. I gave it 120 gigabytes because I don't need much more of that. Uh, I'm gonna install my games to this drive and I'm currently, as you can see, downloading GTA 5. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait for this to finish downloading and installing and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so Grand Theft Auto was lagging, like big time lagging. And uh, hang on, tab. And my memory, my mem, my memory was spiked. So, come on, uh, it's not working. But anyway, my memory, as you can see, was spiked while playing Grand Theft Auto, which means that upgrading the RAM would probably help with this thing's gaming performance, even though I don't necessarily need it to. Uh, game I need it to video edit but video editing should be fine since I'm using Final Cut and any other uh, productivity tasks should be fine but tomorrow I'm gonna upgrade the RAM once the screwdriver arrives one day later finally it took long enough it's currently 9 50 p.m. at night and this finally arrived in the mail at the last minute fuck you Intellicom I hope you die you suck uh, anyways, I'm gonna open this up. Come on. Damn. Come on. And that is my iFixit Minnow Toolkit, which will allow me to proceed with the repair. All right, let me just pop this out of place and of course one of them has to get snuck but of course put that right back where it belongs actually I'll just put it there and do it later and we'll get this unscrewed finally and we'll take this off carefully because there are antenna cables under this Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Come on. Come on, you little cable. Get out of the Mac Mini. Please don't make me use any more than finger level force. And there's another screw in there. That's just perfect. That's just phenomenal. That's just great. I think I have the right bit. And I do. Oh my god, that shit was stressing me out so much. Oh. 
I'm gonna be quick about this because my phone's running low on battery, but I'm gonna be putting my uh, 16 gigabyte RAM in in, a place, in the place of one of my uh, 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 four gig DIMMs. I'm gonna carefully put this, push, hopefully carefully push this back into place. I'm trying to be very delicate here. And there we have it. We have 20 gigabytes of 2667 megahertz DDR4. Now it is a 3200 megahertz stick, but I uh, didn't, uh, it doesn't support 3200 megahertz and it still has a four gig DIMM, which is uh, 2666. So it downscaled it to 20 gig, to 2667. But yeah, it works. Now to put the antenna cover back on this and uh, close it all up. But before I do that, I see that it's still connecting to Wi-Fi without the antenna. I just want to see what the speeds are real quick. All right, so they're the same speeds that I was getting with the antenna cover on. So yeah, uh, I'm quite surprised by this because there's only this little uh, piece of uh, metal using it as the antenna. So I thought it was going to be terrible. But no, it wasn't. It was actually pretty good. But like, I'm still going to put the antenna cover back on, obviously. I'm not going to use an opened up iMac, Mac Mini. All right, so this is finally running at 20 gigabytes of RAM. Shout out to iFixit, even though they didn't sponsor me. They just make a really good toolkit and I love it. I'm going to keep it forever, probably, or until it breaks, which probably won't be soon because iFixit seems to make quality stuff. And I'll do a conclusion to this video tomorrow. It's too late. So how do I conclude this video? So I actually went out yesterday because it's been a couple days since I ended filming and bought another 16 gig RAM stick of the same speed. And now my Mac mini is running at 32 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, it's performing pretty well. I didn't really test anything other than gaming with the eight gigabytes of RAM in. So I don't know if it really made a difference, but it's definitely going to make sure it performs even if I have like heavy timelines and stuff. And uh, 4K video is a breeze, although it would have been a breeze on eight gigabytes of RAM and that really depends on your graphics card and the integrated graphics in here seems to work fine with the 4K footage I've edited already. Also, shout out to iFixit, even though they didn't sponsor me. Uh, this toolkit is amazing. Best toolkit tool kit I ever had. Phenomenal toolkit. It's amazing. I can't shill it enough. Even though I'm not sponsored, I still shill iFixit toolkits now because I never really noticed the difference between my old toolkit. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.